Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. One of our friend requested to publish a video about what are the config that is required to create an order through the incoming IDAC. That is 850 interface. Now, today we'll discuss about the configs only what is required and what T codes that we should use for that. Let's get started. First thing is that we should create the segments. Okay, that should be done in a transaction code WE31. And second is to create the message type. And that is in WE81. Third step is to create the IDAC type, basic type or extension. That is in WE30. And fourth one is we need to assign that message type to the IDAC type. Assign message type to IDAC type. The transaction code is WE82. And moreover, so in the same W82, we'll be linking three things message type, basic type, or IDAC type, and extension. If extension is there, we can add that or we can leave it blank. And next is that develop the inbound function module. Develop that inbound function module. That is in SM37. So remember that in case of an inbound incoming IDAGs, we should always develop the function model to receive the data. However, in case of an outbound, we can do with the program, report, function model, VDC, anything is possible with help of outbound. But inbound means it's a mandatory, we should follow the incoming IDAG, sorry, function model only. Then we should assign this newly developed Function model to IDAC type. Transaction code that we should use here is that WE57. And the next step is that defining the FM characteristics fm find the fm characteristics that should be done in bd51 and the important things to create the sales order is that there are we need to configure two things in the transaction code that is vivo e4 and vivo e2 so vivo e4 is used to define the sales document types for the customer base let me show in system okay the table is okay, for vivo e4 a table is ED PAR, sorry, it is ED PR, and for Vivo E2, it is EDS DC. Let me go to the table EDS DC. And if I execute this table, you see that customer number here, vendor number here, and sales area. So the intention of this uh, table is that during when we receive the incoming data through the incoming IDAC, the system should understand the customer and should be relevant for which sales area. And what will be the sales document type? The system should use to create the sales order. 
so those information can be retrieved from this table okay so in this table we should enter the customer number so vendor is uh, optional only either you can add it or ignore it and uh, coming to the sales area sales document type retrieved based on this combination only right and this is the important config that we should do and the database the t code that we can use here is that vivo e2 please forgive me in case of any background uh, noise there is a mosque near my house so there's a disturbance here okay so if you see here we have the customer vendor number sales org and distribution channel division and sales document type so this is the important config if we don't maintain this config then idac will be failed remember this so eds this is the table where we can get the update the table to get sales area plus sales document type and this is vivo e2 one more table is there edpar let me open that also edpar so this edpar used to convert the external customer to internal customer if i execute this right you see here we have that uh, a customer partner function and external partner internal partner so with help of this combination we are retrieving the internal partner to the sales order so why we need to use this table is that for example you see here this entry in our system the partner here is that sold to partner is 3070 but coming to the vendor the partner is 32 and you know right in case of a cmir customer material info record also business can have alias name for that original material in the sap system similar way in case of vda also order creation also customer might have different naming convention for their in the vendor system right to map that to map that vendor customer number with our internal sap number we should use this table so in my project what we did is that the same customer exists in multiple sales areas right and for every sales areas the internal partner is different here in my case and here i can't manipulate the customer number sales area wise so in my project we have developed one new custom table in the custom table we have defined a customer function external partner and sales area so sales area wise we are returning internal partner partner so sales area wise internal partner is different here so this table is not sufficient in my case so we have developed the new table to retrieve the internal partner number so if you are fine with this config we can go ahead with this existing setup only and the t code to maintain entry to this table is vivo e4 so in this table we can add the entry so this, these two are important steps to determine the customer and sales area and sales document type right so if you see here the steps what i have defined now creating segment message type yeah so creating segment so if we are following the standard flow only so there is no no custom field okay no custom field in the idac everything standard only then we can good to go with this so no need to create any segment if this uh, okay we can skip it because we are not using any custom segment here we can go with the standard setup only right then no need to create any segment so skip this step and coming to message type no need to create any new segment we can go with the existing only so skip this step and coming to idac type so idac type is o r d e d e r s 05 this is the basic type or idac type and coming to the message type that is o r d e r s so this step also we can ignore 
and coming to the assign message type data type this is also done by standard system only so no this type also not required and develop the inbound function model this is also not required because we are not using any custom segment or no extension in our case so skip this part and assign fm to idac it's a standard one only it's already assigned so no need to execute this step w pass and skip it and define the fm characteristics this is also not required skip this but this is mandatory but this is so this many steps is sufficient if we are going to go with the standard data but in your in your in your customer require, requirement is that you want to have some custom field custom segments then we should do some more changes okay one more okay i forgot to really one more few more things let me add that now important things i have forgot to tell you sorry for that let me tell you that so we need to define the logical system right define the logical system the t code is either we can use bd54 or sale this is mandatory we should do this right so we need to define logical system yes if we can't do this right so we should do this by ourselves and next we should assign this assign logical system to client again we can use the same t code sale or we can use lcc4 not sales it is sale and it's also mandatory the next is that we should define the rfc destination okay the transaction code here is that sm59 this is also mandatory thing Uh, I don't think RFC destination is required because it's incoming IDAC, right? So I don't think so. We can you can remove this one. It's not required. Okay. So next is that we should create the port port creation. And uh, the decode here is that WE21. This is also mandatory. And the next one is that partner profile creation. this is done should this should be done in w20 only and this is also mandatory so in this pattern profile only we will be maintaining the setup between that uh, message type basic type and that uh, process code right and a message variant message function we should be considering this one and the, we have different partner types are available right ls ku so many things are there under that we should configure this one this is also required setup so this is must we should do this so let me highlight this and all mandatory thing that we should do logical system definition assign the logical system to client port creation partner profile creation edpar config and configuring the sales area and sales document type so this is to convert external to internal customer so these and all very very important mandatory suppose if you are going for custom custom segments custom fields then so this is also mandatory then okay let me make it as a different color so if you're going to going to create some custom segments means then we should create the segments in w31 and uh, there is no difference in message type leave it as it is so whenever we have the custom segments then we should develop the extension right this is also mandatory then then assign message type to idec type with extension extension this is also required in case of in custom fields and develop the inbound function model right the function model is already there but we should write some code to retrieve the data right and rest and all fine only
so these three definitely we should follow in case of in custom segments extension i think i have published one video yesterday right you can check out that in case of extensions what step that we should follow same step we should follow here as well in addition to the order create interface if there is no extension means we can simply go with the standard flow only and we should do this steps the yellow ones this and all already defined by sap only this should be done by us only hope this video will be very helpful and uh, i have already published uh, uh, one video uh, i think the day before yesterday how to create the pattern profile right how to create the segments and message types assigning that uh, message type to the adduct type and extension right assigning the fm to the combination of extension message type and adduct type you can go go through that and you will understand that remember that in case of any new ida creation it's not fully responsible for functional consultant so i think a functional consultant can definitely do this config the sales area sales document type and customer setup and coming to partner this can be done by anyone basis team or web app team or functional team it doesn't and there is no and sap also said that this should be done by web app basis or functional team no not like that anyone can do that if we do that will will come to know and will gain the knowledge that's it's very simple so anyone can do this but basically we we don't do this in any project real project but if you do this means you will gain the knowledge advantage for you only right and logical system and uh, client assigning the logical system it should be done by basis team only even port also they will be creating part profile should be done by app team or functional team right and coming to the segments so segment should be done by app team only because uh, during segment creation we need to define the field the custom field the length of the field they only know that app team and which data type they can use the app team can do that right and development that input function model should be done by app team everything so it's a combination of mixed efforts from different teams basis app functional but as a technical functional consultant i will do everything here apart from this defining logical system and assigning it to client rest everything i can do so these are steps that we should follow to create the incoming idac through an order hope this video will be very helpful to you guys we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone